Eric Ten Hag has identified a new replacement for Harry Maguire because as things stand, Harry Maguire looks like is one of those players that Eric Ten Hag is hinting about that United really has been signing average players and obviously Harry Maguire is not a top class player. Not even top class because top class is next to world class meaning that he's really an average player that doesn't deserve to be at the club of Manchester United and what made it worse was to make even him the captain of the club. That was really uncalled for. It was really diabolical for the club of Manchester United to make Harry Maguire the captain yet he's an average player and we've always known that captains are at least players that are really top class or world class for the team and are consistent for a very long period of time. Then after that we're going to talk about Mohamed Kudus. Fabrizio Romano has finally come out and really given us his no into this rumor that is really bubbling everywhere in the world that Mohamed Kudus is linked to Manchester United so he has gone ahead and really given us his no as far as this is concerned and then the manager of Manchester United Eric Ten Hag has hinted on Marcus Rashford what has really made him turn into a player is that in the previous five games he has gone ahead to score five goals and Anton Martial the importance of the squad and obviously the Anton Martial conundrum that most people don't understand is what I'm going to sum up this video with to show you how this guy has gone ahead to improve this team of Manchester United. So, Rock and David is my name. Smash the like button, comment and share. And if at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Now, we all know that Chelsea signed Chelsea signed Badeshil from Monaco. He was playing in that central defense with a man known as Disasi Axo. Disasi Axo is a French international, 24 years of age. I saw him at the World Cup. He has the physicality. He's, he has the pace. He's good on the ball. And obviously, he is really <clears throat> a good game reader. And now, this is the new central defender that Eric Ten Hag is going to identify for United as far as it's concerned because he feels like he's not safe with only Lisandro Martinez and Rafael Verani, and because it's not safe with only those two, because they are top class and world class, he went ahead to drop Harry Maguire and Linderoff from playing into the central defense positions of Manchester United, and then he shifted Dokshaw from the left back and put him in the central defense because he knows he's fast, and United enjoyed a very good game playing a high line in those three games, in those three games, Shaw has been playing as a left back. Now, we are having a story coming in from Daily Mail telling us that United are eyeing a possible move for Monaco and France centre-back Axel de Sassi. United are expected to be in the market for a new centre-back at the end of the season amid ongoing uncertainty over the long-term future of Harry Maguire. Now, this is written all over and it's like an open book that Harry Maguire is known the right profile of a defender that Eric Ten Hag would love. You see, even him coming in through and playing for Manchester United, you feel unsafe. You feel unsafe and is a calamity. Obviously, the system of United doesn't really, doesn't really give him a chance to expose himself because we play a high line and his speed is really low. And if at all you are having a low speed, that means you should be good at game reading. And that's one of the attributes that are really deficient into the Maguire's brain. So as things stand, it is really doing him a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of disservice. And the manager looks like he shouldn't be the guy for the club of Manchester United as far as things are really standing right now. And in the summer, they might move him on. And you saw even Rio Ferdinand coming out and really confirming to us that if he was the one playing in that Harry Maguire position and a left back is, is really shifted from the left back to the central defense, and I'm on the bench and not utilized, I would 100% tell my agent, please get me out of this club. Get me a team to play in. But because of because of the arrogance of Harry Maguire and really trying to prove that he wants to be here and having signed a year until 2025, I think he signed, is it six years with an option of one year? So he's still here for like four, three years. He's having a huge contract. He's earning £200,000 a week. I think he is really going to cause a lot of mayhem at Manchester United because Ten Hag doesn't want him. Why? United has always gone ahead to show to it that they are interested in other central defenders. Julian Timber, Kim, 
Kim Min Jae, he plays for Napoli. United is really looking at him. Vadiol, United is looking at him and very many others. What does that mean? Eric Ten Hag has indicated that I need another center back to come in through. And even right now, what shows you that the first jigsaw to move out of, sorry, the first piece to move out of the of the Eric Ten Hag's defensive or the central defense partnership jigsaw is Harry Maguire. Why? He's like fifth fifth fiddle now. Lisandro Martinez, Veran, uh, Luke Shaw, Linderoff, Twanzebe, and Harry Maguire is sixth. And trust me, if Twanzebe can be fit for like two months, he can prove this manager, and you will never see Harry Maguire play for United until the end of the season. The manager has gone ahead to do it on several times, and I believe this guy, Disasi, when he comes in through, he will dislodge Maguire out of the team. And I believe one of the first arrivals in the summer is going to be a central defender because the manager wants to handle this situation as up. Get him a replacement for Harry Maguire, tell him to look for a club. That's it. He is known in the long term, long term plans of Eric Ten Hag. And he's one of those average players that Eric, that United went ahead to sign that Eric Ten Hag has been hinting about. The Sassy, 24 years of age, he plays with the right foot. He can play both on both, he can play both on the right and left central center. He can play both on the left and right sides of the central defense. That is the guy that Eric Ten Hag has really gone ahead to add onto his list for United to scout. As far as the replacements of Harry Maguire are concerned, there is Vadio. There is the Sassy. There is Kim Min Jae playing for Napoli. Those three are the three central defenders in line to come in and really replace Harry Maguire. That means the time of Harry Maguire at Manchester United has really come to an end. And next season, we might not see him here. And this is going to be a very good, 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 good move that is going to excite very many United fans all over the world because they are really fed up of him that's it they don't want him because he has costed us lots of goals even in the game of bournemouth when i saw him coming through he collided with rafael veran the game we played against bournemouth uh, no it was against nottingham he collided with rafael verani that of bournemouth you see you see a pass being played with him by linderoff and he hits it into the corner flag you see those those are qualities that are below standards of what Eric Ten Hag wants. Let's talk about Mohamed Kudus, a player that has been linked to Manchester United by, by the Mira and Grammy Bailey. The Mira was the first to come out and tell us that United are considering a move for Mohamed Kudus this month. However, Ajax want more than £35 million pounds for Kudus. That is what that is what he told us. But for me, I'm really skeptical of us going back at Ajax and sign a player cheaply after spending 100 million euros on 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 Anthony I think they'll always hold us ransom every time we go there I believe it's time we left Ajax players alone though Kudus is a very good player and he plays in all the four attacking positions of the pitch he can play as a central attack midfielder he can play as a false number nine he can play as a left attack midfielder he can play as a right attacking midfielder and me I thought that this deal might be really be exact because Ten Hag knows the player and he's really looking at versatility and dynamism in these players and how they can come up and really reflect into his team. That's why you said it that Ten Hag is pushing hard to bring in players like Yao Felix and Cody Gapko who went to Liverpool because he knows that they can play close to two or three positions in his team. Now, Grammy Bailey also confirmed to us that United are exploring the chances of signing Ajax forward Mohamed Kudus. Manchester United exploring if loan plus buy later deal that could work. So, Kudus is really a very good player and I would love him at Manchester United but does Ten Hag want him? That's the big question because I don't really like us to go back at Ajax. I think we should go back to Ajax after them even forgetting that we bought Anton at 100 million euros. That would be like one or two seasons from now. Ajax is really doing a rebuild and I don't think they don't want to go out and really I don't think they want to go out and sell their players. And I think Eric Ten Hag doesn't want to go out and really gate out more players from Ajax because he feels for them. He wants to really see them rebuild a team. And uh, he can't be one of those that as Ajax is building, then he's coming out and unbuilding and taking off bricks. So I don't see that happening 
for us to go back there and even Fabrizio Romano is going to to confirm that for now on the rumors of Kudus I'm not aware of any contact or negotiations between Manchester United and Kudus as of today so it shows you that this might have been a story put out by the agent because Kudus is linked to every team he's linked to Liverpool he's linked to Dortmund for Dortmund there is a credible source from Germany that really came out and really hinted about it that is plenty goal that Dortmund are really looking to sign Kudus in the summer then Another 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 story is linking him to Arsenal, Chelsea. According to the sources available, he's being linked to everywhere. So I believe Kudus is really one of those assets that is really going to be really huge in the summer because he played well in the World Cup and he showcased to us what he can really do. And I think he scored three goals in the World Cup. That is Muhammad Kudus for you coming in from Ghana. He's still young, left-footed very very talented player and i believe that he can really make changes but fabricio roman has said i've not had any stories concerning muhammad kudus to manchester united so let's wait and see whether that is going to come to happening or not now eric ten Hag has gone ahead to say lots of things today and i'm picking out little by little to really bring them to you here onto the channel because he has really said a lot after that win against everton he said the following about rashford remember rashford scored the third goal and he was literally involved in every goal that we scored he said if rashford keeps his focus i'm convinced he will score even more goals if he keeps investing in training, investing in the games, I'm sure, I'm convinced he can keep the goals coming in this run. Meaning that there is there is a Kalich Ram that Eric Ten Hag has really set up for Marcus Rashford to see that he does it on a daily. And obviously, him doing it on a daily, it has really put him in a perfect position to go all out and score goals and really be a different kind of player altogether. He's going past players, he commits himself a lot. And obviously, he's not selfish because even artists are really coming in through. And I told people that there is no difference between Kylian Mbappe and Rashford. They are almost the same kind of players. Look at what Rashford is turning into right now. Mbappe is 24. Rashford is 25. I believe if Rashford can be consistent for one or two or three seasons, they will be up there with Kylian Mbappe in the same bracket because he has everything that Mbappe does. But Mbappe has been doing it consistently for the last three four years something that rashford has really failed to be doing for the last one or two years and this season he's up and running he is putting on his lights and obviously the spotlight has also not seen that all right rashford is coming let's wait let's let's wait and see how far he can go to scoring these goals remember eric ten Hag told the media he believes he can score 20 goals in the premier league only meaning that Rashford can score 30 goals plus this season because he's having 13, 7 in the Premier League. And obviously, the other 6 have come in from the Carabao Cup, FA Cup, and the UEFA Europa League. So the boy is on fire and is firing in like no other for the club of Manchester United. Then he continued to let us know that I think I put Rashford on the right position on the pitch. But to be fair, he can play across the whole front line and is some and in some cases behind. We can use him as a tactical weapon and he's scoring from every position. So the main important bit of this is a tactical weapon because Rashford can be used everywhere, as the manager is telling you. You get let me give you one of the games when rashford acted as a tactical weapon in the game of arsenal when they leveled the manager changed everything he brought on cristiano ronaldo and ronaldo played deep you get rashford was playing off the left but the main but the main position was playing was like a center forward they went ahead to create space for him because they know that one v ones Rashford on 1v1 situation is really deadly and when he gets that ball and there is space he can beat you by his pace and in the next two three four five minutes after doing that United got all put themselves in the leading position of this game and obviously even in the dying minutes they killed off the game because of Rashford pace so that is what Ten Hag is talking about we can use him as a tactical weapon and I think he's going to apply it very well in the game of Man City Rashford Martial are really going to be the tactical weapons to go out and really gate Man City to fall on the sword of Manchester United and he's going to go ahead and really score very many goals because in every the three positions that the manager has talked about that he can play in the front three he has gone ahead to register a goal on the right he scored against Burnley solo goal 
Um, on the striking line, you saw him score a goal against against Bournemouth, leading the line. Then off the left, that's the goal he scored against Wolverhampton Wanderers. So he's really a player that really throws himself in directions and positions that really impress everyone. And the manager went ahead to let us know about Rashford in his post-match press conference that it's himself the reason why he's flourishing this season he has the skills i'm supporting him i'm motivating him that is clear and this is what martial said when louis van gaal was here that after every game he used to sit him down and really show him the videos that here you did this you would have done that here you did this you would have done that and that is how you support a player and motivate him and having a forward coach like ben mccarthy one of the seasonal goal scoring top scorers in europe during his era and even when a champions league with fc porto that really goes ahead to give him another step of really improving to a player that he is right now so i believe he's really a very good player he's scoring in goals in the past five games of manchester united he has gone ahead to score five goals and i believe on i think on monday we are playing is it monday tuesday monday or tuesday one of those two games one of those two days we are playing a team called we are playing a team called um it's uh, charlton in the quarterfinals of the carabao cup so it's going to be on tuesday that's when you're playing meaning that he also has a chance to go all out and really score another goal for his career now for anton martial people have gone ahead to criticize him but the manager has come out and really told us that even anton martial is doing the job that he really tells him to go out and do onto the field of play now He's saying that also with Anton Martial today, a lot of good movements. He makes space for other players on the pitch, and that was also the case with the movement of Anthony. So for Anton Martial, people don't know his, his job at Manchester United, and people think that every striker is supposed to go out and really score goals. No way. Jesus has six goals, has six goals for us, and I think, and six assists. But Nketiah, Odegaard have like seven, seven, and some assists too. But see the importance of anton martial and why do you think arsenal fans really want jesus to be back yet he's not yet he's not scoring in goals because of how he makes other players on the field of play better that's what exactly anton martial is doing for Manchester United. but i believe for anton martial he is just not found his sharpness of really putting that brother back of the net. but when he finds it he's going to come out and really score those goals i'm 100 percent sure about it so let me give you something that most of you never knew before he came in through we are winning by one goal to nil we are drawing against newcastle scoring two against tottenham horsepower but they came in late you get drawing with chelsea mm, winning one nil against west ham um aware you said won by one goal to nil so goals we are really scarce but to back up with what the manager is saying that Marshall is really making other players better is revealed in the stats of the goals we are scoring ever since we came in through in the game against fulham we scored two um the game against ban bonmouth we scored two nil three nil against nottingham three nil against um bonmouth then one nil against what sorry wolverhampton wanderers then 3-1 against Everton. Look at how we are really improving when this guy is really on the field of play. That's what the manager has been talking about. And this is going to be evidenced more when you're playing a team like Man City. People are going to see the importance of this guy. You know, people tend to forget that he has gone ahead to put in assists. He has gone ahead to really provide secondary assists. And his runs are really important. The way he drops deep into the midfield and then releases Rashford and other players like Anthony is really immense for United. And that's what the manager is talking about. So guys, feel free to let me know about Ten Hag identifying another Harry Maguire replacement known as Ax Axo Disasi. Then Mohamed Kudis to Arsenal transfer, rubbished by Fabrizio Romano. Obviously, Ten Hag revealing his secret tactical weapon known as Marcus Rashford and giving Anton Martial the flowers that some fans don't want to give him at the club of Manchester United. Thank you guys for watching in through. Rock and David is my name. I sign out for now. See you later. May the Almighty Lord bless you abundantly. I sign out for now. See you later.
and we are returning back with one more story because this is the second story we've done the third one is coming in quick or thick and fast